Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to pass or send selected grid view rows to another web page using hyperlink field. See so here we got the new output with the hyperlink field. Now I am selecting the one of the employee record from this grid view control. Let's take the Chetrika, get employee details. See we are redirect to the new page.aspx id is 8 name chetrika email and salary go back let's check the ben see here we got the ben details that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial i'm creating a new project go to file new project I'm choosing ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the project name is pass grid view details click OK I'm choosing empty click OK and the project is successfully created let's open solution explorer I'm creating a new web form in this project right click the project name and add new item I'm choosing web form the web form name is grid view page add now in this source page I'm adding a grid view control go to toolbox I'm expanding the data folder grid view Hide the grid view and go to the design mode and notice there is a small button at the top which is a grid view task click that one choose the data source new data source the type of data source I'm selecting SQL click OK new connection the server name is user After adding the SQL server name, I am selecting the database name sample db. Test connection is succeeded. OK. OK. Click next. I want to save this connection string in the web.config file. Next. From the drop down list, I am selecting the table name employee table for this demo purpose I am using click next test query and here we got the results in the preview click finish now before adding the hyperlink field to this grid view control let's check the output on the browser the employee table is bounded to this grid view control or not google chrome and here we got the output the employee table is binded to the grid view control now my next task is I will add one hyperlink field to this grid view control when I click any particular hyperlink field I want to display that employee record details into another web form page let's switch back to the coding part stop debugging switch to the source now in the grid view inside the columns I am adding a new hyperlink field ASP hyperlink field the hyperlink field text is equals to get employee details data navigate URL fields is equals to I want to navigate the data the ID name email and salary ID name comma email comma the last one is the salary after that I want to pass this URL fields into a query string 
data format URL format string is equals to I'm adding a new web page new page dot SPX question mark the values are ID is equals to 0 ampersand name is equals to 1 ampersand email is equals to 2 ampersand the last one is a salary is equals to 3 that's it let's close this hyperlink field that's it in the grid view page now let's create the new page copy this one right click the project name add new item the web form new page dot aspx add id i am adding four label controls to display the records go to toolbox expand the standard folder label one let's copy this name email salary let's add the break also I'm adding h of tag run it is equal to server go back right click the mouse go to view code In the view code the page load label one dot text is equals to request.query string id label 2 dot text is equals to request dot query string the second column name is a name label 3 dot text is equals to request dot query string the third column is email label four dot text is equals to request dot query string the fourth column is salary That's it. Let's rerun the browser. See here we got the new output with the hyperlink field. Now I am selecting the one of the employee record from this grid view control. Let's take the Chetrika, get employee details. See? We are redirect to the new page.aspx id is 8 name chetrika email and salary go back let's check the ben see here we got the ben details that's it